Hi, this is Maria with MyGolfInstructor.com. You probably know that one of the most difficult parts of the golf swing to feel and to change is your release. And I get hordes of questions from students saying, how do I get the club down to impact without casting it or releasing it early, and how do I release it properly? And that's what the tuck, turn, and roll drill is going to teach you. So as I said, casting, releasing the club early is such a common error and a common complaint on the lesson tee. So to get you out of wanting to, to cast or flip your wrist, we're going to go over the tuck, turn, and roll drill here. So how this works is we go to the top of our golf swing and then we're going to simply just tuck our rear elbow into the front of our hip here. So what we're trying to do is maintain the wrist cock in our right or, right or rear wrist. We're going to maintain the bend here in our rear elbow and then after we tuck, we're going to turn. We're going to focus on rotating now our hips and our chest towards the target. And you can see how things are going to start to straighten out at this point. And then we're going to roll because what happens too often is players try to hold off on that release and overdo it and they actually block the shot. So they go from one extreme to another. So again, we're simply going to go to the top of the swing, tuck our angles down, turn, and roll. And we're just going to go through that a few times real slow. Tuck turn and roll. Tuck, turn, and roll. And then we're going to step up and just try to put those pieces together in a golf swing. I always recommend that you just start off kind of slow and easy on the first one. So I'm going to swing easy here and here's how it's done. It's simple and it works.